Hi students watching and welcome back to our phonics class. Today we're going to learn about <clears throat> a few letters of the alphabet. <clears throat> so now we're going to get off with the story. So whenever I open up a book, I usually think of an adventure such as the girls go <clears throat> up in the tower trapped there and a mighty little dragon down <clears throat> in, on the ground <clears throat> all the girls or i could say the princesses are <clears throat> going to need some help so they waited on the castle then they heard some thump 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 some galloping of horses and all the boys in our class are the knights. They have gleaming, they have gleaming armor, swords. They rush over to the tower, kill the dragon, and free the princess. So now, you want to say that all that all of this has to do with reading. But what does phonics have to do with reading? Well, you can't have reading without phonics. <coughs> and you need to know the word to read the whole book. So today, we're going to learn the basics. The basics of the words. So now, first, all of these words has brought us to the start of our lesson. So... Now, let's start with our letters. So now we have two types of letters. The first one is vowels, which we will be learning right now. So now, phonics chart one. When you look at this chart, you might say Miss Chapel. Uh, Miss Chapel, I know these letters already. They're really easy. But students in the class and students watching, there may be some students that don't know these letters as well as you do. Or maybe they know them or they for and they forgot them. So that's why we're learning them today again. So this is my special screen. I have my pointer. A, E, I, U, O. So now I want you to practice these vowels with me. For I want you to be my echo, my very special helper. So now, let's start with the first vowel. Echoers are going to echo me back, okay? So now, I'm going to start with this chart. Ah, apple, ah, 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 apple, ah, ah, ah. So now I like you to say it more clearly. Eh, elephant, eh, 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 elephant, eh, 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 inchworm, eh, 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 inchworm, eh, eh, eh. So now let's wait a second. Sally has just scrunched up her nose. When she said the eh. So that's how you say the eh sound. Let's ah, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Uh, umbrella. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, umbrella. Ah, ah, ah. So now we had a lot. So now this is our speaking. So now all this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Eh, elephant, eh, 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 intro, eh, 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 uh, uh, umbrella, uh, 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 ostrich, uh, uh, uh. Now the boys turn, the boys are going to stand up, boys watching too, and then they're going to read, and then they're going to say all these vowels. Make sure that you do all of them. Ah, uh, ostrich, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, umbrella, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. eh, elephant, eh, 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 
uh, inchworm, uh, uh, uh. Ah, apple, ah, 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 girl seated. So now girl seated, and then boys with knights of gleaming armor stand up. Eh, elephant, eh, 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 inchworm, eh, 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 uh, umbrella, uh, 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 ostrich, uh, 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 apple, uh, 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 well, you almost say eh, but you said the right word is apple, so knights bow and go down to their seats. So now... In our special screen, we'll have our consonants. What are consonants? Other letters. So now, let's read all these. Apple, apple, apple. So now, let's move on with the next letter. So, A for, A for apple. B, B for bell. K for cat. D for dog, F for elephant, F or fox, G for goat, H for horse, I for inchworm, J for jar, K for kite, L for lamp, M for milk, N for nest, O for ostrich, P for pig, Q for queen, R for, R R for rain, S for sun, T for table, U for umbrella, V for violin, W for wagon, X, X for fox, box, X, X, box, box. Y, yarn, Y for yarn, Z, Z for zebra. So now, tap your backs for doing a great job on your word. So now, for more improvement, let's move on. Girls stand up, A for ostrich, P for pig, Q for queen. Now, boys, R for rings. For sun, t for table, or for umbrella, v for violin, w for wagon, x for fox, box, x, y for yard, z for zebra. Boy seated, girl seated, all you seated, tap your backs for another one. So now I'll have one of these vowels. Say this vowel with me, eh. When they say eh, I smile. When I say uh, I open my mouth. When they say ah, I stretch my mouth. When they say e, eh, I, I scrunch my nose. When they say uh, it comes out on my belly button. Push your belly button and all the sound will come out. Uh, 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 uh. So now we have the next one. Eh. Make sure you scrunch up your nose. Eh. 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 Inchworm. Eh. Inchworm. 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 You see? My nose is scrunching up. Inchworm. Inchworm. So what's the next one? What's the next letter to choose? Stand with our, our class. Stand looking at our walking it inchworm. Now, it inchworm, use your hands. Girls and boys seated. <coughs> so now next we have up. Uh, this sound doesn't come from our face. It comes from something else. 
Where does it come from? A mystery we must, we must solve in our story. Hmm, where does it come from? Right, it comes from our belly button. Say it with me. Uh, uh, uh. So now everybody say uh with me. Uh, uh, uh. What is the next one? For the next part, you're going to tell me what's in this picture. Boys and girls, stand up. Read up with me. Three, two, one. Press your belly buttons. Uh. You, okay? Uh, uh, uh. Sun out. Boys and girls, still standing. Say uh with me again. Uh. For the you. Uh, uh, uh. All of you seated. This. Oh, I'm so hungry today. We might think we have a snack. I think we should eat an apple. Ah, ah. Apple. Apple. Ah. Apple. Apple. Ah, ah, ah. Apple. So now, let's read it with me. Ah, apple. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Easy, right? Now, let's just move on with the next word. This time, it has led to us another vowel. Ah, oh, ostrich. I like to be a fit. So, now I'm running really fast. I'm an ostrich. Ah, oh, ostrich. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so all of you got it? Uh, is ostrich. Well, now, what else? We have all our vowels gone through. And now, it has led us to a little game. Or I should say, contest. Now, in this contest, we're gonna guess, we're gonna like say the vowel, and then we're gonna have some, my pinky pointer here, two beautiful pointers, and then one student will come and point to the vowel, and the other student will go and collect, or maybe get the animal. Then you can get it to set in front of your name tag. So now, let's begin. So first, I want uh, two students to come up here with a demonstration for me. With our pointer, we're going to use our contest. Ooh. So now, like, if we have a dog, D-O-G, then the vowel we're going to point to is A uh, for, ostr uh, for ostrich. That's what we're going to, that's where we're going to point to. So I'll put down our pointer. Now I want all of you just to see these. A. So, what are these letters? Sally, what are these? Nice and loud for me. Vowels, right. These letters are vowels. They help us find the right letter or word. So now, we're, I have, we have only a puppy sleeping there. So I want Donald and Sarah to demonstrate. So now she will get her puppy and the puppy is the vowel ah. So in order to take your puppy home or your dog home, find another word that has its vowel. Uh, maybe something green that jumps. Um, 
uh, or maybe green hops. All right, frog. Yeah, it's a frog. So bring your puppy back to your chair and let it tip in front of your name tag. So now that is done. Next bowel well, we have circled. So now it's really fun learning about having this contest. But now we're gonna move to a little game. In this game, we're gonna have two teeny tiny pointers. Whoa, magical pointers. They even stretch so you can reach. So now I'm going to teach you learning about vowel. So you're going to demonstrate about how, what you have learned throughout this lesson. So now go and point to everything you have learned by this. So now I'm going to say a word. Um, one, two, three, dog, uh, boat. Yeah, so Sally got it correct, and one has to go home, go back to the chair. Next, we'll have Donald. So now she's in twirl. So now Donald pointed first. So he's really fast. Now for Isaac. One, two, three. <clears throat> One, two, three. Watch my mouth, okay? I'm gonna say the right word. So three, two, one. And a f three, two, one. Okay. <clears throat> Ostrich. Yeah. Isaac got it really fast. He's the first, okay? So now, we're going to give the pointer to two more students. And they're going to point for me the letter. What? Is, what? Vowel should we go on with next elephant? Okay, so she got it first really fast and the <coughs> And Sally couldn't get it right Okay, so could you see what's our game interesting? Let's have a Few more students coming up to the blackboard to play Ah, Apple so now sh so now <coughs> And you got it right. And you know, <clears throat> since our points were pretty long, I think that everybody had fun in this game. So now, what have you learned throughout this lesson? Now, since you had so much fun, now it's time for you to do your worksheet. So now, I want you to circle all of the things inside your worksheet. For example, apple. For example, which one doesn't have the a ah sound? Which one? Well, the one that doesn't have the a ah sound is the sun in your worksheet. So please circle the sun, okay, everybody? Circle the sun in your worksheet, please. Please. Okay. So now I think it's really fun learning with you today. And now you have three <coughs> letters or words in your diagram. Circle the word does not fit. Okay. So what word does it fit? Uh, the word that doesn't fit, uh, you might have guessed, is the word that you got it right must be the sun. So, sun, push your belly button right there and circle the word 
sun. Now, since you got, since you got all of them correct, I'm going to tell you something that you might want to do at home. Your worksheet is nearly at the end. So now, circle the last one. So now, circle alphabet, the word alphabet, because it's looking for the uh sound. So don't, so alphabet has the ah sound. Circle alphabet. So you see, who have done, raise their hands. So lots of people have done. And you see, our worksheets are really, really interesting to you all. So now, since you've got a great time, your homework is this. So now you have a coloring page at the next page at the back. So I want you to go home, make, use the coloring page, and make sure to use the right colors for the right numbers. Be careful. So now, had you had fun with the Zabika lesson? So now, if you did, see you next time with the next lesson.